How's it going guys, UltraSive here, and in today's video, I'm taking a look at Recoil. I haven't played this game in quite a quite a bit, so I mean, I'll just, I'll just use like a standard, whatever I have, uh, RP, R74K, like an AK-74 type gun. Alright, I guess I don't have anything on it, let's just run it uh, with nothing. Wait, did, which class did I just set up? Okay, this one. Uh, so I haven't played this game in a while, and it has changed quite a bit. We're basically comparing it to the Militant, which we uh, saw yesterday's video. So hopefully hopefully this game is like somewhat decent. There's been a lot of updates I can see. The game looks better, it feels sort of better too. Animations aren't as smooth, but I, I like how this game looks so far. Like they could definitely work on the animations, but the game feels smooth and it looks good so far. Also, they got the sensitivity right, though ADS. Yeah, they got the sensitivity pretty good. Wait, there's already like a sensitivity thing which I already adjusted in the past. Oh, they added a field of view too. You can go all the way up to 100. Wish you could go a little bit higher, but I mean, that that's fine. So three, two, all right. I'll turn off particles, turn off textures. I'll leave have keybinds too. Uh, yeah, dude, okay. I can turn off a lot. Dude, they, this is <laughs> as Keybinds menu. It's already better than Phantom Forces. <laughs> Dude, literally, that's that's what I care about, man. That's, that's what I care about. All right, let's use this K2. This is like an SMG. All right, let's see what we can do with it. It's like way zoomed out now. It's like a whole different game. Oh, wait, they have inspecting animations too. Oh, you have to hold it down. That's weird. You have to hold it down to spectate or else it like goes away. Okay, I mean, that's cool. I could definitely work on like the smoothness. FPS, oh, I don't think I have FPS unlocker on. I thought I had it on, actually. Oh wait, I didn't, okay. Give me a second. Yeah, I have FPS unlocker on, but this game is just locked to 60 for some reason. Like, I think they may lock it themselves to 60. No, wait, no, it just doesn't get a lot of FPS in this game. I guess it's a pretty heavy game. Though I did turn off a lot of my settings, so I don't know why I wouldn't be getting a ton of FPS. I think this gun sucks too. It takes so many bullets to kill someone. All right, we're back to the M4, which I already like loaded out before. Cause yeah, this the gun I was using. It didn't feel too hot. Was I being shot at from behind? Yeah, I was. Get wrecked. Okay, it does kind of feel like they increase. Did sensitivity like increase mid match or something? Oh my god, dude! I swear. <laughs> It's like super high again. Now right, let's go to options, settings. Let's turn my sensitivity down one click. Aim down one. click click hopefully that's enough because it has to go any lower that's kind of dumb i wish they had, didn't even i wish i could just like adjust sensitivity in game so i didn't have to change my roblox sensitivity for specific games also i think oh i thought the game lagged out for a second we just got defeated all right that's that's cool i'll win next match oh frick they have final kill cam i, for, I forgot about that dude that is great okay yo Oh, we can look at like people's stats and stuff. Dang, this game is like actually coming together really well. Yo, okay, I literally like the only thing I could think of is animations. Like this game is coming together really well. Animations and maybe working on the sights a little bit and how that works. We got like a battle pass and stuff too. Yo, okay. Cause the sights, they don't look great at all. They're kind of like COD sights, I guess, but I don't like them. Some models also, they don't look the best. They look kind of polygon, they like look really polygoned. I don't know, Phantom Forces models, they kind of a little bit smoother than this. Also, but I mean, they're probably going for that style with this game. I kind of like some games, how they do the uh, polygon or low poly like style. Like AR2 does it really well. I like AR2 style of it. I don't know, I just thought this game, I don't know, maybe I'll have to get used to it or something. People are really bad. Oh my god, dude. They're like walking into me and stuff. Wait, what? What is this? Oh, this is like hard point. Okay. We gotta capture a hard point. I should play objective. Wait, is this? That's not an enemy. Oh, that is an enemy. Get out of here. Wait, can you like... Was I hit markering a corpse? I feel like I was. I got a double kill there. Okay, I feel like... The announcements on screen or whatever, like the little text when you get kills, it should pop up as soon as you get a kill. Instead of like there being a delay for the animation or whatever. I don't really like that because it doesn't show like when I need to stop shooting that I've like killed my enemy or whatever. Bruh, how did I not kill him, man? <laughs> Why am I so bad? Also, you can barely uh, like slide. It's kind of weird, like the slidings are really delayed in between slides. 
They said you can turn use your numpad to turn on like cinematic mode and disable the HUD. But I don't have my numpad on this keyboard since it's a tank keyless one. So yeah, I'd have to like plug in. I I do have an external numpad I could use. But like or I could plug in my other keyboard. It's just it just kinda feels weird. I wish I could like keybind that in settings. That'd be a nice addition. I love to like the keybinds menu, the like cinematic mode disable uh HUD stuff. What are these windows do? You can barely see any of the map with them. At least I got a kill with it, yo. Also, I got a UAV and whatever this is. What's this, poison gas? What the heck? Oh, we should be able to change it from like... Okay, so this is like a hold, crouch, and C. C is crouch and then... If you hold it, it's prone. What if I'm in crouch, then I hold it? If I'm in crouch, then I hold it. What? Okay, this is this is very confusing. I'm gonna have to check out these like prone keybinds and stuff. This is so confusing here. Where, where's my keybinds? Uh, crouch, hold, left control, crouch, C, prone, Z. Wait, what button B? Oh, that's if you're using a controller, okay. I guess if you hold crouch, it goes to prone as well, so you don't even have to hit Z. Okay, I'm gonna change that to left control, crouch hold. Uh, how do I like, can I get rid of it? I guess I changed it to escape. That's kind of weird though here. I'll just like change it to P because I'm not gonna be using that. Let's go back and wait, I wanted to try sniping a little bit. Ping feels awful on these servers. <laughs> not gonna lie, like it feels like it takes even after I kill someone, it takes like forever for it to show up that I registered killed them. That dude is bad. Oh my god. Wait, he's like speeding, bro. Whoa. Wait, does sprinting not cancel reload? What was that? I thought that would. Frick, I wanted to edit it here. Let me let me edit this loadout. I want a sniper class. Sniper rifles. I have the AWX. All right, let's try that one. Customized, does it already have nothing? It's literally nothing. Oh, we can change the optics and stuff here. I'll add, oh, I can't see any of the optics. Here, let's go T1 or whatever that is. It's good enough. It's good enough. Actually, kind of, it's kind of a nice sight compared to a lot of the other stuff. Also, I like how your character kind of like, as you go up against the wall where you can't, wouldn't be able to shoot, it like pushes your gun out of the way. Phantom Forces doesn't even have that. Do I need to get headshots with this? Cause it's Call of Duty, but it's Call of Duty and Roblox, so it's super easy. Oh, I know, I, you don't need headshots. But I do be getting headshots though. Well, this game is coming along actually really quick, considering how fast Phantom Forces came about. It took like three years for the game to become actually good. Like this is, this is coming along pretty fast. Especially it already has like a UI and everything. I guess dev teams that are really good are like, picking up the pace, you know? Wait, is there like a collat system? Hmm, that, that is, I'm curious about that. Dude, this gun has 10 bullets, bro. I need to be hitting clips, man. But the animation, dude, if I edited a montage with these clips though, they would look awful, cause like, like this game's animations, they don't look like, look at these third person animations. I mean, it is like in beta right now, so I, I wouldn't expect the animations to be finalized or anything. I'm just making comments on it. Like nothing I say is like against this game because it's still, it's not even released yet. It's just in beta. So none of these things are finalized at all. You probably need to work on it and animations would take quite a long time. But a lot of these new uh, FPS games that are popping up in Roblox, like Recoil, Militant, Core 6, they're all Call of Duty themed. But we do have like Blackhawk and stuff, so I guess they're not all Call of Duty themed, but I just, I'm just like thinking there's a lot more uh, Call of Duty type games on Roblox than there used to be. So we should be seeing quite a few, but yeah. I think I'm going to end off this video here since I've talked quite a bit, but I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. If you want to see more recoil, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm out. Pasadios, my dudes.